Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you clicked into this video. My name is Ashley Lynn. I make content centering around mom life. I'm a homeschool mom of five and we're also dairy and gluten free. This video is all about dairy and gluten free meals that are also kid approved. I think that that's really important. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys because I feel like out there right now, the resources for dairy and gluten free are either vegan, which don't include any of the eggs and meat, or they're gluten-free, which include all of the dairy. So there's not a whole lot in that gray area. So I really hope that these meals you will like and that you can maybe make them. And if you do make these meals, please tag me on social media and I'll put you in my stories. Um, so the first meal that we're going to make is a really simple chili. This doesn't have to have sour cream or cream cheese or cheese in it at all for it to be really filling and yummy. The first thing we're going to do is brown our ground beef and cut up an onion. Now I'm gonna put the onion right into the ground beef and we'll drain out that fat after it's all cooked. I've got a little helper here. You wanna help me? Yeah? You wanna help me with the beans in a minute? Yeah. Okay. Here's a strainer. Okay, and we are going to put kidney beans and black beans in our chili. So I'm gonna open them up and rinse them off. Yeah, I'm going to put that in my Pour them into the strainer. Don't spill, don't spill. Pour them right in here. Ready? Go! All of them, all of them. The whole thing. Good. Any beans left? <gasps> Shake it out. Good job. I'll switch you. I'll switch you. Okay, dump all that out. If you want, I am gonna drain out the water from this, so dump it in. It's looking good. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna put in cumin, and after that, we're gonna put in chili powder. You wanna sprinkle some in? Okay. Okay, let me throw away these. Chili powder. You stir it all up in there. 
That looks really good. This meat mixture is almost done and I wanted to share with you guys also, I would have made this chili with a frozen chicken breast. Um, but there was ground beef on sale this week and I just kind of um, went with it and saved the chicken breast for another time. But you can kind of switch this up and play with it. I don't ever really follow a recipe. I'm really bad at that. I kind of will add what I have. Um, some really great add-ins to chili are diced sweet potato. I know it sounds weird, but it's really good. Um, bell peppers are also really good add-ins. And we're gonna go ahead and add the meat this time and we always serve our chili with corn chips. These are the corn chips we've been loving right now. There's a blue corn and I get this at Aldi for I think it's like $1.89 a bag and my kids crunch them all up in their chili and it's really, really good. This time, we'll still have the corn tortilla chips but I also got this cornbread from Aldi. It was a little over $2 a box. We're gonna try it today. The It says that you need 3 fourths cup milk, and I'm just gonna use the unsweetened original almond milk, and I'm sure it will come out fine, but I'll show you guys later on this evening what it looks like. Let's just start it again. Yeah, start it again. Oh, it's hot, let me get it all in first. Very, very hot, be careful. chunky yummy chili. <laughs> She's still snoring. Um, we're gonna hook it up to the crock pot and it's gonna cook a little bit more on low and when it's done all of those flavors will have kind of like melded together and I will show you guys when it's ready. We'll have the cornbread, corn chips, we'll do some avocado and it's gonna be really yummy. Thai peanut ramen noodles with this brown rice and millet ramen. As you can see, the ingredients are super clean. First thing we're going to do is drop a few of these pallets into some boiling water. I did not make enough noodles for my recipe this time, so I would recommend adding a few more pallets. While the ramen noodles finish cooking, let's head over here to make our sauce. I will have all the ingredients and the measurements in the comments below. I'm starting out right here with some creamy peanut butter. I did about a fourth of a cup of creamy peanut butter. You can use healthier peanut butter if you'd like. Next, I am putting in three tablespoons of soy sauce. And this is just a pro tip, make sure that your soy sauce is gluten free. I actually used soy sauce that had wheat in it and I didn't realize until afterwards. So here's just a little reminder to always, always, always check those labels. Next we're gonna do two teaspoons of sesame oil. We're going to do two teaspoons blue agave. You can also sub for honey if you'd like. We're going to do one heaping tablespoon of this minced garlic. up your 
your sauce and it should look a little bit like this. Next, I'm chopping some green onions for garnish. We're going to put green onions as well as peanuts on top of our noodles tonight. soft so I'm straining them and I'm adding the sauce right into the pot that I cooked the noodles into and it smells so good this sauce is a little bit strong though next time I think I would definitely add some chicken broth to dilute it a little bit as well as some more noodles but all in all it was a really delicious recipe that we're going to make again recipes take a picture for Instagram and tag me and I will put them into my stories I love when you guys engage with me and I love sharing your posts to my stories as well so try all this recipe let me know what you think and here's my Instagram handle right here please go follow me there making is meatballs. I've started with a pound of ground beef and here's the secret to really great meatballs. Add another pound of Italian style pork sausage and when you mix these meats together it gives a really great overall flavor to your meatballs. I'm going to add a couple of eggs I'm also going to add almond milk. This is the unsweet, unflavored kind of almond milk that I sub for any whole milk in a recipe. Next I'm adding a generous amount of tomato ketchup. My favorite gluten-free breadcrumbs I get the seasoned flavor it's seasoned with Italian seasoning next I add pepper as well as salt secret to this recipe is you can't mix it with a spoon you got to get in there with your hands and it's gonna be really cold but you gotta just fight through it and mix those meatballs and incorporated it's time to roll out your meatballs you can make these any size you want a long time ago I've made mini meatballs for soup and they were really delicious but I like to kind of go with a golf ball size meatloaf and that's what I'm doing here
meatballs are so versatile. I made barbecue meatballs for a birthday party recently. We also make these meatballs with tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce with gluten-free pasta, which is what we did tonight. And I also made um, crock pot cocktail meatballs with um, grape jelly and barbecue sauce. So this is a really great staple recipe and a lot of toddlers really like meatloaf and meatballs as well. Hey you guys, I wanted to just end this video real quick. I really hope that you enjoyed watching all of these meals be made this week and I really hope that I have inspired you to make some of these meals yourself. Feeding your family on restrictions is really hard, but I'm here to help make it easier. If you guys make any of these recipes, please tag me on social media and I will share them on my stories. You can find my handle right here. I really look forward to seeing you guys over on that platform. And please don't forget to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the other super fun content I have coming. Love you guys, see you in the next video. Bye! Hey Emma, say bye. Bye! bye. <laughs>